hi guys this is dio again with another video so today i'm going to be reviewing the latest version of autodex sketchbook or sketchbook pro so i'm going to be reviewing the new version and i'm going to be discussing about the new updates so the first thing we are going to be doing is just to open the canvas let's start with a new sketch so let's start with a new sketch like this then after you've opened a new canva a new canvas like this um the next thing you are going to be doing is make sure you tap on the top left corner then tap on the pen mode then make sure you off the, the pen mode if you are not using a tablet or an ipad make sure you turn off the pen mode so that you can be able to draw whatever thing you want to draw on whatever thing you want to draw on your canvas so if you don't switch it to if you don't switch it off uh, you don't switch the pen mode off you can't be able to draw so this makes you gives you access to draw when you turn it on it's not going to be able to draw unless you use a pen so i'm using my android phone right now so i can't be able to draw but when i switch it on and off sorry when i switch it off i can be able to draw so this is one of the updates then the next update i'm going to be discussing is they have now um changed the interface to as you can see the tools you can assess your tools by the side instead of you changing your resolution from your phone from your developers option you can just simply just get the tools by the side and sometimes if you can actually access the tool you can press on the top right corner um, it's going to appear so just top on the uh, top right corner and tab it back again and again there's an option there's a feature that the, the mid that you can actually adjust your opacity from here even without uh, clicking on the brush you can actually adjust the opacity from here and the size of your brush so this is a quite a nice update as well so um there's another feature the have introduced a lot of features actually i'm using a purchased version of sketchbook pro and i'm going to show you how to actually get it there's a link down below in the comment section and in the description section that you can actually click to download the purchased version so you don't need to pay any fee you are going to be able to get a purchased version so you can actually import um your photos from here you can import your psd files you can import your tiff file through this option you can also share your psd your projects through this side and your preferences if you tap on preferences you can see that they've brought in new some new options and new updates as well so i'm going to be talking about the new updates so as you can all see let's just try drawing something for instance you've drawn something like this so if you want to undo you just tap on it um use two fingers to tap on your screen and it has undo so you can experiment with um these new features just just feel free to experiment on these new features and again you can just okay uh, modify like for for example it says um three finger three finger single tap so if since the two finger single tap is undo you can just decide to say okay let me change my three fingers a single tap to um redo so just similar for those who are using procreate they have similar feature so you can actually change your preference over here and make it flexible as you want so i think let's discuss about another solid update um when you go to this section 
um they have introduced an auto hide an auto hide so whatever you're doing on the canvas you are not going to be distracted with um whenever you're drawing on the canvas you're not going to be distracted with the interface and the options so this is actually a nice update as well so um another new update is um in your predictive stroke you can actually use a magnetic um option you can use a magnetic option this is a new one as well but uh, it doesn't have much of a difference but yeah it's it's actually nice to have i don't even see any of the difference though but yeah it's a new feature then the next one is i think the next one is um the next one is they've introduced some certain markers and some certain tools in um the tool section they've introduced a lot of tools a lot of brushes and again the beauty of it is the you can be able to import a new brush on any of these categories you can use you can import a new brush on the basic category you can use um the markers category you can use the legacy you can use the texture essential you can use whatever category you prefer so all you're going to be doing if you just want if you want to if you want to download um a brush and import it you just go to the sketchbook website and scroll down and look for brushes then you download after you download then you tap on the top right corner over here it's going to give you options like this asking you rename set um download free uh, extras you can actually just click on download free extras to go and download more brushes on um the sketchbook website just tap on download in the, uh, click on download free extras is going to refer you back to the sketchbook page to download more brushes so you can download skin palette color palettes you can download brushes whatever brushes you want so this is a very solid update as well so and i really really like what they are doing right now so i'm very happy that sketchbook have started to update their self and get in the line so um you can actually import brushes you can import brushes right now you can import brushes over here you can export as well to share it to maybe probably your laptop or your ipad then you can um, create new sets of brushes as well so you can duplicate brush you can randomize you can do pretty much a lot of things that you couldn't you can't before then yeah then the next update is in our color wheel our color the color palette option um color palette title um the next update is the color palette um update so what sketchbook have done um is one of the major updates i've seen in a while um the if you if for those for those using procreate you can actually uh, testify that you, it's very easy for you to get a color palette of whatever uh, photo you want to get so for instance now you are working on a project and you need a certain color palette and you don't just want to like extract it using color picker you can just simply you can just simply tap on you can tap on you can just go to this section then you simply tap on the gallery icon over here you just it's going to ask you new from image or you can snap then import directly so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tapping on new from image then it's going to redirect you to your 
it's going to redirect you to your file manager so when it redirects you to your file manager all you're going to be doing is you're going to be selecting the photo or the artwork you want to extract your color palette from so you just need to select the photo or the artwork you want to extract your color color palette from so for example i'm going to use my old artwork to extract color palette from for instance i want to extract a color palette from this i want to extract a color palette from this picture um for instance this one so what i'm going to be doing is just to tap on it then click on select it's going to automatically import the picture then what, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tabbing on this icon over here then you tab on it it's going to ask you this will overwrite your currently pa uh, selected palette then you press on ok so you can see it has automatically created a palette for this particular artwork so you can see how nice it is you can see how actually nice it is you can see how nice it is just go back here and you can use whatever palette you want these palettes were extracted from this particular reference so feel free to um, remove it at any time you prefer you can click on delete to delete and yeah it's gone you can yeah you can see the major updates here now and th there are complementary colors that you can work on you can just select any color here then it's going to give you like a complementary color at the top so this is really not um this is not really our business for now this is more advanced but if you're good with colors you can work with this so the complementary color option is there as well and the color history you can just tab on it to change whatever thing you want to change in real time so aside from that you can see uh, the gradients of the um of the color palette you selected the hue variations and the saturation and lightness and complementary as well you can see the, the everything has been laid down for you so i i really like what i'm seeing i really like what sketchbook has done with their app and they are they are still introducing new features and i would like to see more so the next update i'm going to be talking about is the layers so the layers uh, sketchbook has introduced uh, more blending layers they've, they've introduced alpha max they have introduced inverse alpha max they've introduced um they've introduced a a make group so for instance now uh, let's let's let me show you how let me show you how you're going to be using a make the make group feature so the first thing you let's let's just take the let's take the blending mode to normal so let me let me show you how you can use the make group um the make group feature to work let me show you how you can use the make group feature so the first thing you're going to be doing is don't forget to keep on turning off your pen mode if you are not using a pen then we're going to be selecting a black color for this illustration so for instance now um okay for instance you select a cycle that's maybe your sketch then you add another layer and you take it down then maybe you decide to like maybe fill fill the sketch fill the just fill it up i'm just doing like a crash course on how this how this works the the mid group so i'm just trying to let's create a crash course a crash illustration so after you've done that then you add another layer and yeah and you still maybe select another color and do and do whatever you and do whatever you want to do so for instance now you've done this and you want to group you want to group some certain layers so you just tap on it and you tap then you create create the group click on make group 
when you click on make group it's just going to show you a, sit, a separate group which is group one so you just created a separate group for that particular sketch so what you're going to be doing is you can actually go back press on this arrow sign to go back then if you want to add more uh, or you want to group another one as well just click on and tap on the layer then you click on make group as well then you can see how you can keep on grouping your sketches and your work and if you want to add um or on group or you you want to transform you can transform whatever thing that is inside the group um whatever thing you, you want to transform you can transform you can also flatten just in case you're not interested in making group anymore you can click on the flatten to flatten and to subside the group and if you want to still group it you can click on group as well so this is a very solid update and i actually like what i'm seeing so you can ungroup or you can flatten you can do whatever you want to do with this feature so this is this is actually nice and i think this is pretty much um the only update they've made so far and that i i am interested in so and i hopefully and i think they are going to bring more updates as well so just stay tuned i'm going to be using these new features to do tutorials on how to sketch and all that so make sure you stick around and make sure you subscribe as well if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you are a new subscriber you're welcome to the family i drop tutorials almost twice every week or once every week so feel free to um, stick around as well and i'll see you in my next video peace